Now what I've done is set my saw at a depth about a saw blade thickness above my line. And I'm going to I'm going to make a couple of cuts right here, probably three cuts. And then I'm going to flip it over and I'm going to reset my saw for my depth because this is my reference face. I measured two inches down, I measured four inches down. If I'm not dead on six inches and I leave my saw the same, I'm either going to be cutting too shallow or if I'm shorter than six inches, then I'll be cutting too deep with my saw set the same. So I need to reset it for the other side of the timber. But I'm going to go ahead and make probably three cuts here. I'm going to start my first cut out here away from my line. My second cut a little bit closer to my line. Then make my most critical cut the third time. So these two cuts will be practice and then I'll make my critical cut. And I did check the saw. This is two and a half inches from the edge of my tenon back to my line. The saw will cut two and three eighths of an inch. But I'm going to play it safe and make me probably three cuts. And that way when I make this cut along here, I'll stand this timber up and I'll make that cut like that. Then my block will come out. All right, I've made my cuts. What I did was I curved down this side three times and the same on this side. And then I was able to leave my saw at the same depth because I had cut back far enough that leaving at the same depth would take out these two blocks. <clears throat> and now I just have the chips here that I'm going to knock out, pull out, and then I can trim it up with the chisel. But what I'm going to do first is the same as what I did the other day. I'll get my calipers out, my inside calipers and my outside calipers, and I'll go over here to this 20 foot center post, and I'm going to use my inside calipers in my mortise and transfer that measurement to my outside caliper and then come put my outside caliper here on my tenon before I start trimming anything. <clears throat> Just to make sure that I don't trim it too loose and have a loose joint. what I'll do is I'll try to get a close-up with the camera of this while it's rough then I'll show again like I did in the video the other day on how I use calipers And it looks like it's a little hard to see on the camera here that I try to leave a little bit of line to shave to with the slick. Took the line out here. I got about a half a line here. I got a little bit of line here. Looks like I'm right on it up here and left a good bit here.
Now what I'm going to do is get my inside caliper, put it in my mortise here, I'm going to check it all along. Now what I'm going to do is lay my caliper down. <clears throat> and I'm going to take my outside caliper and I'm going to set it to the inside caliper. Now I'll take my outside caliper and I'll go back over to my tenon and check it before I start shaving anything. Feels like I'm pretty good. Feels like it's going to be a real good snug fit. So all I'm going to do is roll this timber over and I'm going to take out my kerf marks. This rough stuff that's left in there from when I made my slices in it. Let me see if I can scoot the camera around. I know we got shadows in here. Done got dark. <clears throat> so what I'm going to do is not take anything off of this face here where my saw blade cut. Or if I do, it'll be very little. Just mostly back there where my cuts were. Leave it like that. Let's see how. Let's see how that comes out. Got a knot right there, so I'm going to come back up from this side a little bit. Now I got a little bit of line down here. I'll just take a little bit of that off.
a little bit down there in the center. Well, looks like we got this one done. What I'm going to do is chamfer my corners to make it go in easier so it won't hang up. I'll take a little more off the side than I will the top because that's what I want to slide in. take a little bit off of this corner too. Then I'll come down. Alright, that's it. <clears throat> I will mention again, one of the reasons that I use the calipers in the mortise and then bring transfer it to the outside caliper and bring it to the tenon is I can't pre-fit these joints. This timber is 10 foot long. It's uh, wet green pine and uh, I just can't maneuver them to pre-fit them. So what I do is I get them just as close as I can before I try to go assemble it. And uh, what I plan on doing is getting these timbers outside. Three 10 footers, one 20 footer. And the next day or two I'm going to get them outside, get them out in the yard and uh, try and put them together and then use some come-alongs or a winch and pull everything tight and I'll probably go ahead and peg it and then I'll store it until springtime when I go to use it and uh, what I'll also do is I'll do a video of the sketch up drawing of the gin pole <laughs>